So here you see we've got a magnetic separator that's already out and out of service. It's not in line right now, but it's a little easier to explain how it works this way. So you can kind of see down here on the bottom, uh, when we pull this out, we've still got material, <coughs> magnetic material that's stuck to the magnet. So you can kind of see the magnet starts about here. How this machine works is that the magnet is attached to the shaft. Then the drive unit rotates the outer shell around the fixed magnet. The magnet picks up the iron units, carries them up to the discharge lip, dumps them over to the discharge lip. Everything that is not iron based falls out the bottom of the tub and goes to the tailing spot. For every four tons of material that comes out, one ton stays in the process, three tons get put out into the tailing space. The entire electrical industry started with magnetic separators. In 1831, Joseph Henry built a powerful electromagnet and used it in a commercial mining operation. Before Henry's invention, electricity was only a curiosity and an area of scientific experimentation. His first electromagnets were made from iron cores wrapped in copper wire and were insulated by pieces of his wife's wedding dress. Henry built a magnetic device used to separate high quality magnetite from impurity and thus began the birth of the electrical industry. We take the iron content, it flows through pipes over to the filtering process. The filters uh, extract the water. And after it goes from the filters, it is transferred to balling where there's these huge balling drums that rotate around and around and around until it makes these, we call them green balls. The drawings 